The death toll from starvation in Syria continues to rise, with reports that 28 people have died from malnutrition, including several children and babies. Tens of thousands of people are waiting for food in the town of Madaya, southwest of the capital, Damascus. But security concerns mean it could be the end of the week before the aid is delivered. Residents in the besieged town of Madaya have been forced to pick leaves just to stay alive. For many, there's now nothing else to eat. Footage from an opposition-run channel shows one woman collecting grass to feed her family. I have six children. We live in a complete disaster. I have to feed my children. What can I do? There is nothing at home. No oil, no bread. Each day brings new pictures of emaciated people who say they've had nothing to eat for days, even weeks. Doctors say five people died of starvation this weekend alone, including a nine-year-old boy. We've been under siege for seven months. About 35,000 people are dying now of hunger. Syrian government forces and Hezbollah militants have blockaded Madaya since July, and until now, aid workers were denied entry. We couldn't access Madaya uh, or other areas since October 2015. Uh, so yes, indeed, the situation is extremely dire. Now humanitarian organisations, including the World Food Programme, have been loading trucks with food supplies near Damascus. The Syrian government has granted permission for them to enter Madaya. But the aid has been delayed because of security concerns and won't arrive for several more days. <laughs> Desperation has spilled into anger and prompted protests among sympathisers in other rebel-held towns nearby. But even if the siege is lifted, aid groups say it's only one of many Syrian towns under siege facing the possibility of mass starvation. Anne Barker, ABC News.